So in this video I did a training session for the kids. It was just us lot getting our gear on, getting our tools and going into the hive. I know there's no bees in there but we just we just went in, pretended there were bees, opened the hive, pulled some frames out, did our checks and it was just a good exercise for the kids so we could see as well the area around the hive if it was easy to manoeuvre where to put the roof when we take it off and where to put the frames and everything so it was good fun we had a good laugh doing it and one thing I did notice is that with the boys when they do get involved in beekeeping they have to remain focused because if not they're gonna get stung so it was a good good fun exercise so I'll show you what we did um, yeah um, well, one day I like to see it I, I'd like to do it in a library seat would you yeah, that's our goal. Do beekeeping with no bee suit. Right, so this is our mock run of opening the beehive. So we're going to base it on the fact that we have now got a swarm in here and it's been in there for two or three weeks. So we're doing our first check to just have a look at it and see what's going on. We've got our little checklist here of what we're gonna check for. So what we've got in here, we've got, what's one of the things we're gonna do, Alex, when we go in there, do you reckon? Um, and we can check it any, for any queen cells. Now, first of all, we've got to check, see if we can find the queen. So I would normally use gloves, but we're not today. So we get our smoker. Put a little bit of smoke in the entrance like this. All right, take a lift of the lift for me, Alex. <laughs> so this is where the bees would be. This is where the bees would be um, in the feeder. So I'll put this to one side now. And what we we'll do next is you puff some smoke into there. <laughs> Let me get this off. This is the crown board. So lift the crown board up. And inside we've got all the frames. So what we would do, this would be covered in bees, absolutely covered. So what we do Alex first, you grab, you get your hive tool and we'd have to crack under here to go to lift them up. So we're cracking these bits here, lift them up. Now, there'll be bees everywhere now. And what's um, this little boy doing here? Nice. And you lift it up and you'd look at the frame. So you lift up the frame. Then these would be covered in bees, bees everywhere, all flying around. And we'd look around, we'd turn it up and down. And what we're looking for, to make sure we can see some eggs first of all. So we look on the frames and we look around and see if we can see any eggs. And if there's eggs, what does that mean? Um, is the queen's doing well laying her eggs? So the queen's laying her eggs, yes. And the next thing we've got to do is try and find the queen. But we know she's in there because why? You've seen the eggs. You've seen the eggs. So we keep getting the frames up, lifting them around, very gently looking. And if it was a honey frame, you get the bee brush and we would just gently sweep the bees off. Or some people go, tap them off. Mm -hmm. You've got to be careful with the brood frames. You don't want to kill squash and bees. Yeah. And when you put these back, make sure there's no bees on the side. Mm. And also when we get the frames out, we are also checking for something called foul brood. And foul brood is when a bacteria gets inside the cell which is developing and it kills the grub and the grub inside goes foul. And he smells like fish, like horrible fish. So, so when we go into our checks, we get our little a little, a little, show and film it. 
little inspection sheet here and it says here oval score queen how do we think so we look for the queen we find her we look at her see how she's doing we look at the brood so the brood is where all the eggs are if there's eggs and if they've got some cap if they're capped excuse me joke and and the hive condition and also if it smells it smells good have a sniff joe Smell you wouldn't it. do that when there's bees there would you yeah. you just lift it up have a little bit of a a little bit of a smell now that is a dummy frame so it stops the bees building extra comb over here dummy. Not dummy. and then we look at the brood um, and also we do a check for varroa mites, varroa mites. and again it will come out down the bottom here mm -hmm. So we can look in the cells and just see if there's any mites going around. And we'll get this here. And we can actually stick our frames on the side like this. So we want to have a frame, we'll check later on. We can just stick it on the side here. And you can do that to all of them. Stick them on there, and that's a frame there. You could fit about two on there, right? Which we could put here like this. Yeah, two or three. You could put a few in there, that's our frames we could check later. Right, so what else would, are we inspecting for? Just, just an overall look at the hive, aren't we, to make yeah. sure it's good. And if we've got any propolis, that's right, any propolis along the top here, we get our bee tool, where's our bee tools? Not bee tools, our bee tool. I don't know where mine is. Uh, on the floor, yeah. All right, yep. Yeah. And what you would do, if you just scrape it off, give it a good scrape and get it off the off the top of the frames there. And also, this is useful when you get the hive. You crack, 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 and then you can lift bits and bobs off. Now, Joe, ideally, what would you be wearing if there were bees here? A bee suit. You're wearing your bee suit. When's your bee suit coming? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, and it's gonna be the same as Alex's. Mhm. Mm yeah. Maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. So one good thing about doing a mock run is that I realised I made a mistake. I put the rapid feeder in above the brew box um, on the crown board and I put the lid on top while well, it was all like wobbly and I thought that's not right is it? So I phoned my friend at Love Dean Honey and well, I left him a voice message and as I was leaving it I thought I know the solution and I know the answer. <laughs> so I'll do that now. This is what I'm going to do and I think this is what you do anyway. So I was going to of course, we'll take the lid off. And there we have our crown board. Let's get this one in here. So we go plenty of room now for the rapid feeder. We put them over the hole. So now the lid will fit on nice and easy. So that was our little training exercise. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy our content and look forward to us actually getting some bees, then please just stay tuned and uh, we upload every Friday.